There can be many macroeconomic goals of an economy, but the ones that we feel are important are inflation, balance of payment, unemployment, economic growth, development, sustainability, and redistribution of income and wealth. When we look at inflation, keeping inflation low is a very important macroeconomic goal. When we looked at inflation in AS economics, we saw inflation had many costs from shoe leather costs where it is important to find lower prices, uh, otherwise the purchasing power goes down to menu costs where we had to sort of uh, revise price list and menus to even what we call redistribution costs where some groups may lose out such as lenders or people on fixed income like pensioners. Similarly, there is a cost of inflation which is in terms of losing competitiveness because if inflation is really high, then exports will become less competitive in a country. And lastly, we also see the cost of inflation in terms of uncertainty for investors who will be wary of their returns from investment in a high inflationary environment. So keeping inflation low becomes a very important macroeconomic goal. Otherwise, there will be what we call uncertainty in the economy. Another goal to consider is the balance of payment equilibrium. The ideal situation is for the balance of payment to be in equilibrium. That is all the inflows of money which is coming into the economy is equal to the outflow across the whole account, which means the current account, the capital account and the financial account. Now, countries are usually concerned about their current account deficit because if there is a persistent deficit in the current account, then a country could face significant economic and financial problems such as, you know, a decline in the foreign reserve, which can make it difficult for them to pay their liabilities or debts, uh, decreasing or depreciating exchange rate, and in extreme circumstances, even bankruptcy. Another goal to consider is the unemployment or keeping uh, unemployment as low as possible or achieving full employment. Now, when there is low unemployment, automatically there will be low crime rate, there will be better utilization of resources, and at the same time, we will be producing at our full employment, which means there is efficiency. Low unemployment also means that the standard of living of an economy will go up and this will happen because the incomes of an economy will go up when there is lower unemployment. Lastly, if unemployment is very long and painful, then there may be a fear that people will lose their skills in the long run and they may need to be retrained in order to get back to the labor market, which can be very expensive for the government. Another related goal is to keep uh, economic growth high. Now, there are two kinds of economic growth we, that we discussed earlier. There is uh, potential economic growth and actual economic growth. The actual economic growth is basically uh, achieving full employment by making sure the aggregate demand curve shifts to the right so that there is what we call higher output. On the other hand, when we look at potential economic growth, uh, we said potential economic growth means that the economy is kind of shifting its PPC to the right or achieving long run aggregate supply curve to shift to the right. Both are important because actual economic growth would mean the economy will be producing closer to full employment, while potential economic growth means increasing the level of full employment in the long run. Next, we talk about development. When we look at development, development is simply the raising of standard of living of the country as a whole and the, of the poorest groups in particular. This may include higher income for people, more jobs to reduce unemployment, better and more food, uh, better housing, greater availability and higher quality of education and health facilities.